Hey up everyone, welcome to the Ruby League History Channel. Tonight I'll be doing another video as part of my Forgotten Super League Ground series. Part 1 I did Wilderspool and part 2 I did Nosley Road. Both of them were well received and I got some good comments and some good feedback from those. And tonight I'll be doing another video as part of this series and I've chosen to do Wigan's former home ground which was Central Park. Central Park was the home of Wigan between 1902 to 1999. The club was founded in 1872, but for the first 40 years of their history, they played at a couple of other grounds before finally settling on Central Park. The first game to be played at Central Park was on the 6th of September 1902, when Wigan defeated Battle, 14 points to 8 in front of 9,000 people. The final capacity before the ground was closed was 18,000 but like I said in the Wilderspool and Nosley Road videos back in the old days there was crazy attendances and Central Park was no exception the biggest attendance that Central Park ever got was on the 27th of March 1959 when Wigan played against St Ellens Wigan won the match 19 points to 14 and the, the attendance was 47,747 people so there was a lot of people crammed inside Central Park to be watching that game. In 1987, Central Park hosted the first World Club Challenge to be played on English soil. Um, that came on the 7th of October 1987. Wigan defeated the previous year's premiers, well, that year's premiers, Manly Warringah, who had travelled over from Australia. They beat them 8 points to 2 in a trialless game. 36,895 people attended that match and then in 1992 uh, Brisbane come over for the World Club Challenge and they won that match 22 points to 8. In total there was five World Club Challenges played at the ground. Um, Wigan also played against Canberra and Canary Bankstown. They travelled over to England for that. Of course probably Wigan fans would like to forget their last World Club Challenge match that they played at Central Park. That was against Canberra and they lost that 50 points to 10. In 1997, the club shareholders agreed to sell Central Park to, initially it was going to be Dave Whelan, who was the, the chairman of Wigan Athletic. And they were planning on making Central Park um, redeveloped and also they were going to have Wigan Athletic play there. So there was going to be football matches and rugby league matches play at the ground. But only a couple of months later, uh, supermarket chain Tesco outbid uh, Dave Whelan's bid and apparently the, the shareholders claimed that Tesco offered three times the amount that um, Dave Whelan uh, uh, bid so in the end it was agreed that the Central Park site would be sold to Tesco obviously that meant that Central Park was to be demolished and Tesco was going to build a supermarket there so on the 5th of September 1999 Wigan played their final ever game at Central Park and their opponents on the day were St Helens. They beat St Helens 28 points to 20 to send Wigan and Central Park off on a good note. Not so long after that, Tesco started demolition works at the ground and all that really remains to acknowledge Rugby League and Wigan and Central Park is there's a monument outside the Tesco supermarket there um, which which talks about the ground briefly. Apparently it's fallen into disrepair. I'm not too sure if it's been fixed or repaired, the monument, but there is a monument out, out the front there. Along with hosting Wigan rugby league matches, the ground hosted 43 test matches between 1904 to 1995 and 31 tour matches from 1907 to 1994, along with being a World Cup venue as well. So that concludes my video on Wigan's former home ground, Central Park. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. If you're a Wigan fan listening to this and you got some special memories or some special moments that you remember at Central Park, you can type them in the comment section below. I'll, I'll read them and respond. If you're an opposition fan that used to go to the ground for away games and maybe your team had a good win there, on on one occasion let me know in the comment section below and i'll i'll read it respond to that and if you've got any other suggestions for some former grounds in the super league of clubs that i haven't done yet let me know 
Anyway, this has been Rugby League History. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be making another video very, very soon. And I'll catch us all later. Take you bye for now.